Just one dollar below 10K. That's the amount I'm flying with. One more buck and the law comes out and they all wanna know about why I'm rich. I'm not rich, I'm just on the way. Back to the land where they need this grip. You give yours to a charity fund. I give mine to a cuz that's sick. How y'all doing? Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, so yeah, uh, my name is Amir Mohammed. Uh, my father's from Sudan, North Sudan, and my mother is African American from Southeast Washington, D.C. Yeah, they met, made me, and uh, my life has been complicated ever since. <laughs> Why you want to catch my eye? You already know that I'm taking it. Like How you pass me who won't pay this, and I'm seeing you on vacation. Like How you gonna make us great? We were never really that amazing. Like Take it back to what? I don't find hanging black lives in the team. I grew up like in a bubble of East Africa, largest concentration of Ethiopians outside of Ethiopia in the Washington, D.C. area and Somalis and Sudanese, etc. So I grew up in this bubble of a representation of myself, not knowing that the rest of the country wasn't like this until I got much older. You said you used to go to, um, Af back to Africa, Sudan, yeah. um, every year. Yeah. So which did you find more difficult, um, being in America as half African or being in Africa as half American? Neither. Neither. I never found them difficult. Um, as soon as I get off the plane in Sudan, because they don't have the context of black America, when I'm in Sudan, they just think I'm Sudanese. I have a longer face versus a rounder face, which is very much northern Sudanese. I have thick eyebrows which is very Northern Sudanese, I have bigger eyes, very Northern Sudanese, I have massive forehead, East African. So it's just like, oh, he's one of us. It's not until I open my mouth mm. that they're like, you got a little bit of an accent when you speak Arabic. Where are you from? Ah, which means foreigner in Sudanese Arabic. I grew up seeing my dad kill himself to make a living and I vow that I didn't want to do that. I said, I tell you what, I want to do music. If I don't have one commercially released song by the age of 21, I will abandon all hopes of doing anything art related for employment and I will work for you. My father was a businessman. He did well for himself. And he's like, strokes of beard. All right, I like that. Like, all right, this sounds good. Well, age 21 happens and I still don't have a record out. And I get a call from a good friend of mine named Kev Brown, who was working in Philadelphia with a guy. And he says, this guy wants to meet me. And I go to Philly and I play my music for him. He says, hey, I'm doing a compilation. I'd like to feature you. And since you made the beat and you made the rhymes, I have to pay you twice because I'm paying producers and rappers separate. So here's a check for both. And that artist, that guy was DJ Jazzy Jeff. So I go home and I put the check on my dad's table and I said, I made that in an hour. And he knows this. And my father says to me next, are you selling drugs? <laughs> and then I say, you can't get paid in a check when you sell drugs. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. This is a um, this is a this is a, a live in your face version of iTunes and Spotify and all of that stuff. My policy when I used to dig for records was black people with afros between 1960 and 79. <laughs> <laughs> so when you look at this, you don't necessarily need to look at it as a bunch of records, but you could start to look at it in the categories of yacht rock or jazz synth new age, and just learn jazz synth new age. Don't concern yourself with anything in here. Nothing else matters. Just hang out over here and get into jazz synth new age. And then you'll know jazz synth new age after a while. Yeah. Music, you know, works in cycles a lot. And it's funny that trap music is pretty popular now. It's one of the most dominant forms of music in, in hip hop now is trap. Trap has a lot of what you call arpeggiators. It synthesizers that have a continuous sound that goes over and over, right? If you want synths that are arpeggiated for trap, go to the 60s, where they were experimenting with moogs and synthesizers and creating arpeggiated sounds. And a lot of the times you can lift those sounds from 60s records and throw them right into trap music. I've known this man for six, <laughs> seven, 16 years. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen him talk this much. There's a song I came out with called Lifting Shadows, and the first line of the song is, just one dollar below 10K. 
That's the amount I'm flying with. One more buck and the Lord comes out and you don't want to know about why I'm rich. I'm not rich, I'm just on the way back to the land where they need this grip. You give yours to a charity fund. I give mine to a cousin that's sick. You see your name and they fall on the list. Scared I'm involved in the cause of the pain. Lost somebody you love in the top was looking at me like I boarded the plane. I'm just the artist, you're not a target. No, you said I'll get all in the same. Put their knowledge, I stay calm. Search for and that came from literally the trade embargoes in Sudan where we weren't allowed to transfer money. So you would travel with cash. And if you travel with $10,000 or more from the United States, you're questioned for why you have so much money. So you would travel with $1 less than 10K in your hands to back to Sudan. So this, you know, this is where these things come from, the whole, do you have 10K you know, type of thing. But it shaped a mentality of like, all right, I'm gonna have $10,000 cash in the house. And I had it, and then I was like, Dad, he's like, you got 10? I was like, yeah. He's like, how much you got in the bank? <laughs> 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 I fell asleep with open eyes again. Seeing me, how others see me, you're my mind again. I hope I don't find offense. How many people know the percentage of black people in America? What's the percentage? Anybody know what percentage of black of, of America is black? Huh? Beautiful. I love that answer because that's what most people think. They think it's way higher than it is. Black Americans make up 13% of the population in the United States. 13%. The number one music in America is what? Rap music. Yeah. A, a music created by people who only make up 13% of the population is the number one genre of music in the country. Don't you see how amazing that is? Keep laughing at the people dripping on their own faces The way I'm skipping these places you would think we And in my thought, I was looking at you. Your every move, I was I consider myself a survivalist because I'm black, I'm Muslim, you know, I'm an artist for a profession. There's so many things against me. So I have to just get used to all of these things. And I've had a, a lifetime to adapt, to learn how to manipulate those systems to my favor and to beat them and to use anything I can to my advantage. Well, you told me the truth, even if it really hurt me, because you knew when I was 